George, you are a your former high school coach won multiple state championships. You are now a volunteer coach for the NCAA Division I school. You had a daughter that played number one, and she's graduated, NCAA Division I. Now you have a daughter playing number one currently in an NCAA Division I school. You like no ad scoring, man? Well, f first, at the beginning, you lost me when you stopped talking about me and when you started talking about my, my daughter. What I'm saying is you you've you did a little bit in tennis, but if it wasn't for your daughters, you're known I wouldn't as, be here. You're known as your daughter's dad kind of thing. You're you're Brooks' dad. You're I'm Brittany's dad. Yeah, yeah. So do you like no edge point? Answer the question. <laughs> the, well, first again, I'm going to reverse engineer. All oh, right, God. Do you like no edge point? No, no. But but exp before I before I give you my answer, tell me what the official reasoning is. It's a leading question. What the official reasoning is to 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 have started no ad school? Okay, so I'll speak for they. I'm never sure who they are, but uh, I think it was to speed up the game, to speed up the college tennis game. Okay. All right. Then so stop there. To, that, to that, speed that's, it up. That's how I understood it. That's how. Okay. So so he, here's my here's my thought process on speeding it up. If the goal is to complete the match as fast as you humanly possibly can, why even start it? Why not play a 10-point tiebreaker or flip a coin and then go get a pizza and drink a beer? If the goal, What other sport sets out for the whole goal of starting the, the, the game or match is to finish? Well, I, I think in fairness, there's... You know, a, a basketball, for example, is 220. I mean, people don't want to be there like a cricket match and for it to be an eight-hour day, but... Well, you, I, I can go to a soccer match, and, and it lasts 17 hours, and it's 0-1, and there's 57,000 people in the stands. Yeah, well, there that was in Brazil, okay, probably. But, but uh, okay, I understand the concept of, hey, we want to shorten it up a little bit. I don't think you need to to get away from regular scoring of winning by two to shorten it up. You can, there's other ways of doing that. You can do, like if I ask a player, and I think you've done some informal things, if you have a player or a coach, like if we ask Manny Diaz and the coaches in the, in the Southeast Conference, hey, do you want to play no ad scoring? I think the answer is no. Would you rather play no ad scoring for three sets or play two out of three sets and a match breaker for the third where you have to win by two with regulation scoring. Now, the one thing I do find weird about no ad scoring that we're playing now in Division One tennis is you have to you have sudden death, but the tiebreaker you win by two, kind of kind of hypocritical well, that, because it starts to get important. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, the first two hours and fifteen minutes wasn't important. It's the I mean, next thirty-six seconds that matter. At the NCAA's Georgia men just lost to North Carolina. Came down to the last match. Came down to two, three all points, maybe three, three all points in the third. Came down to a couple inches. I think that was important. But it, but if they're going to play no ad scoring, bring back that. that, that now I'm, I'm being totally facetious. But if you're going to play no ad scoring, bring back the nine-point tiebreaker, sudden death when it's four all, and then 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 you. Then you kind of um, now you kind of got it all kind of matched up here, um, but I think a lot of people um, would trade off two out of three sets, full regular scoring, and a match breaker for the third as opposed to um, the um, no ad scoring. What don't you like about no ad scoring? Well, I think it would. Well, here I'm, I'm going to answer it. This is probably going to ruffle some feathers, and I hope that we get a ruffle few comments feathers. at the bottom. Of the screen is that we if and I I had I, you're right I'd done some questioning of my own to find out because I, I approach it from a from a, a parent standpoint from a coach standpoint is is if we so then it becomes the server and again I'm gonna I'm gonna reverse engineer whoever serving is supposed to have the advantage correct correct goes completely out the door with no ad scoring mm -hmm. right you're gonna get a dink first serve. In, 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 a, in a small prayer that, that they're not going to double fault on a deuce on a deuce point, and then the momentum falls from there, and there's a sense of of value when you've earned the game. Right. I mean, if we really want to get you know r really deep into the weeds on this thing, so so from a competitive standpoint, th there's a lot missing. But again, I'm going to fall back to my original argument. If the goal is to 
speed the game along so that I think we said it's 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 it's, it's more TV friendly. I heard yeah. someone say that one time. Mm -hmm. um, and, and then I think I'd said to you, there's a reason why there's not bleachers in a bowling alley. Right. 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 You know, I, I don't know where it, there's some mandatory thing to try to develop something to make it something that it may not be. Is it a spectator sport? Um, and, and that's going to be the big thing. And, and there is, in you know, to an extent, obviously, I go to the U.S. Open every year. And I have a great time. Spectator sport. Right. Right. But and we have bleachers at, at a local high school match. We we have no ad scoring there. And there are three parents watching. Yeah. So it didn't work there, right? Um, I've been to many, many, many collegiate events, and, and maybe at the higher level, higher profile, but they have no eye scoring, and there are zero parents and zero fans, with exception of senior day and alumni day. Sure, sure. Uh, with exception of those days. So um, again, I'm always going to fall back to, to the purpose, and the purpose I believe is to get done. If the purpose is to get done, yeah. then then it's it's who made that? I'm not gonna say who made the decision sure, because sure. my phone may ring. But but is that the right reason? Right. And, and I mean, the, certainly the purpose of tennis is to for the better player to win. If, if so, you know how how much does that affect the better playing uh, the better player as far as not winning? You know that 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 that's sort of a question. Um, one of the things I would like to see. Is um, is there be consistency? I mean, Division One men and women are playing no ad scoring. Division Two uh, um, and, and Three, you know, the, it, it, I would like to see the same format used all the way through. Okay, the same format used all the way through. Doubles either counting a point or not, and it seems like they, they get caught up in different committees and so forth. And I like for pro tennis, I like there to be consistency all the way through. If Federer is going to play no ad scoring, then so be it. Um, because it does get confusing to the audience to have to explain it to them. This is no ad. These are mini sets. This is a match breaker for the third. And the, and the newest format I heard when I put uh, when I told Chuck Creasy about this, Chuck Creasy's former Clemson coach, a little bit, uh, um, he's definitely thinks outside of the box. So Chuck, I said, Chuck, two out of three sets, match breaker for the third. He says no. He said, man, you got to play an icebreaker. Just reverse it. Play the match breaker first, then play two sets. So if the better player wins the match breaker to begin with, more than likely wins the second set. Now you saved a lot of time. Now if the, if the better player doesn't win the match breaker in the first, he knows or she knows, got to win two more sets. But we would be interested in knowing more from other people from the comments below. Do you really like no ad scoring and what do you like about it? Or do you just think that it's just horrible and, and as far as um, college tennis and, and you think it should be abolished? Brian Bowling had an article when this first came out. Uh, his whole team despised it. And they just won a national championship. So it's not, it's not like it didn't, it's not like it affected them, but they, uh, nobody on the team liked it. He didn't, he thinks it just really kills the game. And, and you don't have the essence of winning by two and, and, and competing and, and grinding out a game. Well, I mean, again, you, you said you had mentioned in that a couple of times you had said the word time. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm not sure unless there are limitations. Maybe it's like the public courts <clears throat> where you flip the lights on and they cut off after a certain time. That's, that's the feeling I have here. The goal is to rush this thing. Again, it sounds to yeah. me like the whole purpose of starting is finishing. Yeah. And, and we're not, is that what we're all about? Well, I mean, let, let, let's, let me, let me back up. You go right now. Hey, look, I can take a flight from, from, from New York to California. And how many hours does it take? Six five, hours, five, five, six hours. Yeah. Right. Right. Back in the day, uh, the travelers would, would, would get on the horse and buggy and they go from the East coast to the West coast. It would take so many years. There'd be all new people by the time they got there. Right, right. right? So, but this this rushing thing. What's next? What's going to be the next thing? Yeah, I, I, I um, if if you're trying to save time and help promote the game, the people like a Dick Gould at Stanford. He play. He coached when there was no ad. He coached when there was regular scoring, but he knew how to promote the game to his community. Um, Brian Bowen. They got the same amount of attendance at UVA, um, Peter Smith. They're doing really exciting things to keep people entertained, uh, you know, serving concessions, shade uh, like at Tulsa. 
shade at Stanford, building shade structures that are comfortable for people to come watch, getting rid of bleachers, you know, where you have nice chair backs and stuff like that. So I find that the coaches that um, are leaders in the in promoting the game, they could pr they could promote the game on TV or, or or live, whether it be no ad or regular scoring. So m my thought is. Man, just leave the scoring alone, man. Just quit quit screwing up the game with the scoring, and let's focus on how to make it more entertaining. I don't care if you got to sell hot dogs or potato rolls with uh, grape upon mustard, you, you know, but make the game a little bit more entertaining from that aspect, but leave the, leave the scoring stuff alone. Well, I know you talk about the, the shade structures and the food, but the direction this thing is going on, there's no need for the shade structure. You're not going to be there long enough to get sunburned, That's right. and you're certainly not going to get hungry. So, so again, we're back to time, 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 and rather than tennis and development. So, first question. You like no answer for? Yeah.